Hi, I'm Dave Kellogg. I was the commencement speaker at GD graduation. I, you know, I just want to take an opportunity to invite you to, to, to pursue uh, adult ed, to look into the community college. Um, you know, we, we are a community. And uh, it is, I was just having a conversation. These are, these are where lives change. Um, you look at the differences it's made, not only the graduates, but the rippling effect of their families. So yeah, I'd just like to take a, a little opportunity to tell you to, to really just kind of reach out and, uh, and take full advantage of, of uh, pursuing your education. Thank you. Yeah, we're very pleased that uh, even though the number of minutes that our students can meet a week and the number that there's a cap on the number of students we can have in our programs in, in Illinois now, uh, we did exceed the number of graduates this year. We had 77 graduates compared to 66 the previous year. Uh, in addition, we're very proud that 60.4 uh, of our graduates from last year have gone on to school at Carl Sandburg College this, pr this current year. There are no costs to going to, to GED classes other than your time and your effort and your dedication. Mm -hmm. Well, we have classes in the morning, we have classes in the afternoon, and the classes in the evening. But uh, our students range from either six hours a week to nine hours a week, depending on which class uh, they're in. We have some that uh, just need a quick brush up, and, and off they go, and then others who've been with us for several years. Mm -hmm. But it, it's up to, we, we pre-test as they come in, we get them at the level they need to be, the materials, the support, the tutors, uh, anything that, that's necessary to help them succeed, and then we give them the push, and off they go. So um, it, it varies. Rose Park is there to arrange a time that uh, someone can come in uh, to see our facilities, uh, meet the teachers, and uh, take a look around. We're out the mall. Hi, I'm William Elgin. Uh, I've just successfully completed my GED courses at Carl Sandburg uh, College. Um, I'm currently enrolled in summer classes. Um, from that point, I'll move into the fall semester. Um, I plan on spending a good three years at Sandburg uh, to complete my required courses to move on to a, a, a four-year university. Um, when I finish at Sandburg, I'd like to move on to uh, Western, or uh, I'm sorry, Bradley mm -hmm. uh, University, where I'd like to finish my, my uh, bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. Mm -hmm. I'd like to move into the renewable energy field. Uh, we have uh, a lot of technology changing. Um, very rapidly. Mm -hmm. A lot of green energy. There's uh, uh, a lot of buzz about the new uh, smart grids that are going to be, mm -hmm. you know, coming soon. And it's a field that not many are in as of yet. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of support uh, uh, financially, mm -hmm. you know, to, to educate new people for this field. So I'd like to get into that, mm -hmm. you know, as it starts. I was not the greatest student. I wasn't that interested in academics at all. Um, I was raised in an environment where uh, it was okay not to have a high school diploma because we were uh, basically a family of, of men who you know worked with their hands mm -hmm. and and that was perfectly acceptable and it was perfectly acceptable to me mm -hmm. you know for for many years but as time passed on and uh, you know uh, the rigors of, of labor and, and those types of jobs start to take their toll on your body uh, you, you know you start to try to find another avenue. Mm -hmm. um, not to mention it was just, it was a thorn in my side. It was unfinished business, mm -hmm. you know, that I wanted to get taken care of. Um, I have young children at home, you know, that, that needed that, that example, that kind of role model. Um, so there was a lot of different reasons, mm -hmm. you know, that I came back to, mm -hmm. to, to actually get it done. Probably for the most part, it just came down to a decision. It just came down to a second where you picked up the phone and from that point on, once I picked up the phone, the chain reaction was so quick. I mean, a, a week later, I was in school taking classes. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just that simple. There was no, uh, the people at Sandburg were so helpful. It, I mean, they just led me through everything, you know, helped me with my original testing to, you know, to see where my trouble areas were, got me started. And from that point on, I mean, it became almost an addiction to get mm -hmm. it done. Mm -hmm. I'd like to introduce my family. Um, to my right, this is my younger brother, Brandon. Uh, he likes to be called Bo. Uh, he graduated from Western Illinois University. Uh, he had his associate's degree in uh, business and his bachelor's degree in political science. <clears throat> Bo um, attended military school. Uh, where did you, you obtained your GED in military school, correct? And so uh, 
that's where he started. Um, this is my mother, uh, who's just been phenomenal at waiting for me to get around to getting things done. Uh, she's always been very supportive. She hasn't pushed too hard, but is just kind of. I, I kind of figured she always knew it was coming. It was just a matter of when I was going to get it done. Um, it's my beautiful wife, Kimberly, who has been after me from the basically the day after we got married, or maybe even before we got married, um, to get things rolling. And she was probably the spur uh, that made me pick up the telephone. Um, most definitely just a matter of picking up the phone and, and, and making the call, and then it all took off from there. Um, this is Billy and Sabrina. Um, Billy and Sabrina both give me a big smile every morning when I leave the house to go to school and tell me have a good day <laughs> and ask me and, and ask me why I don't have school on Fridays when they have to get up and go but I mean they've been a great part of me getting to finish this up and uh, uh, they've given me a lot of support to uh, to get back into college and uh, to pursue you know my future I would say trust your instincts um, you'll know when your time's right. Uh, you know all the uh, all the pushing in the world helps to us. I mean, it's, it helps to a certain point. You know, to to, to have that constantly in your ear. Um, but be mindful. Recognize the time. Um, understand that that you don't have an infinite amount of time. I mean, it's something that you need to get started. And just don't be afraid of it. It's it's something that um, you may have after, or you may have. Uh, you know reservations about starting it but once it gets started I mean it turns out to be a lot of fun you'll find that as you get older especially as you get older in life your priorities change a little bit and maybe it wasn't your time when you were in school give it another shot get in and see how much fun it can be and and take off from there